guys, we have huge news. Ah. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Miley. And I'm Eric, and it's not that big news. What do you mean? The big news that they think about. Oh, me. I'm not pregnant, no. Stop, gross. Don't think that any big news a woman has to share is only that she's pregnant or getting married or whatever. That just makes you a little bit sexist. Sorry, but just the truth. Uh, no, I'm not pregnant, and it's nothing related to that. So, sorry if that's what you thought our big news was, but not sorry. So, we have very big news to share, but we also just have a bunch of, like, life updates. I feel like we haven't sat down and chatted at the camera in a while, and there's just been so much going on lately that we thought it needed a video. So, we will share our big news at the end of this video, but you'll have to stay tuned to see it. And while we're at it, we should probably remind them, too, to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Specifically subscribe because we are working hard toward our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and we need your help to do it. So hit that red subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of the videos that'll yeah. come because you're subscribed. Yeah. So, Scrimpy. <sighs> We've had a lot going on. Mm-hmm. And we got a lot more to come. We have a lot of travel coming up. Basically, our months of May and June are just like stacked hardcore. Mm -hmm. Like it's just gonna fly by like that. So um, I am this week headed to Dallas for a work event this weekend. At the same time, Eric is also headed to somewhere for work. Tell the people where you're going, Eric. I'm going to Norway. Norway. In Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so a week from the day that we are recording this mm -hmm. video, I will be uh, in Oslo, Norway for work, which Crazy, is very right? exciting uh, for a week where I get to spend some time with my coworkers that are over there, uh, have some good face-to-face -face meetings, and also get to go out in the evenings and Explore check out Norway. Oslo. So yeah, not all of Norway, just Oslo. Right, just Oslo. Eric's company has headquarters in a bunch of different cities um, throughout the world, really. There's one in London. I hope that's where you get to go next because I want to go to London. I'm not going this time because I have a work trip the same time he's leaving, but then he gets back from his trip in Oslo. Like three days later? No, like a day and a half later. I We have plans the day after he gets back, um, and then the next day I leave for a work retreat in the San Francisco Bay Area. California. <laughs> for like a week. So I'm gonna be gone as soon as he gets back, and then we get back and it's our anniversary, and we've got some other plans. May's just gonna be over like that. Mm -hmm. And then in June, I'm basically gonna live in New York City in June because my sister is finishing up her senior year and she'll have prom and graduation. And so I am literally going to go to June about June. Go to June about June? <laughs> I'm gonna go to New York about June third or fourth through the 23rd. I'm gonna be in New York for most of June, um, which is gonna be insane. Eric, you don't have any work trips in June, do you? Nope. So you'll just be chilling at home without me, living the bachelor life. Like I do. So, um, and then he's gonna join me the last week I'm in New York for graduation. And then we fly home and it's Eric's birthday. Like the day after we get back, we're gonna throw a big party for his birthday. And then the day after that starts our very special news. The big news. Okay, so on to the big news. And we've got dogs fighting in the background. So sorry if it gets a little We run a dog fighting ring out of our house. It's Don't even money. say that, that is so not true. We treat our dogs like children and they are pampered and spoiled beyond belief actually. It's kind of sad and not trained very well either. So they don't really listen to us. Anyway, here's our big news. We are so, 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 so excited because we are, do you wanna say it? You can say it, I'll let you say it. We are directing The Hunchback of Notre Dame at Shawnee Little Theater. Yay, we're so excited. We are co-directing and we cannot wait. This show is an extremely special show to us because you may or may not know, if you've been following us from the very, very, very beginning of this YouTube channel. We were right in the middle of directing this show, The Hunchback of Notre Dame at Shawnee Little Theater in 2020 when COVID hit and it was an extremely scary time. Eric was super, um, what's, what did they call it? Immunocompromised. Immunocompromised and his doctor basically told him don't leave the house because the vaccine wasn't available yet or even a thing. So we had to completely shut down production 
it started with a two week postponement of rehearsals to assess <laughs> the situation and see. Be back in two weeks, guys. No we worries. were never back. We kept pushing it off and pushing it off. And ultimately the theater and us made the decision that it just wasn't safe to continue. Our cast size was about 40 people at that point and it just was not safe. We did not feel good about continuing it, so we didn't. And we thought that was it. We thought that was the end. We were moved out of the area of Shawnee, so we really didn't have much connection um, during the time of COVID. And it wasn't up until recently when you guys know, if you've been with us, we moved back and got back involved at the theater. It's a special place to us. I grew up there my entire life. My whole family's been doing shows at the theater for literally, I think I'm generation number four. That's where Eric and I met doing a show there. That's where he proposed to me. That's where we got married. I've been on the board of the theater. I've just been involved my entire life. So is my whole family. Um, Eric has been involved for about 10 years and we just love that place so much. So excited. And we were so excited to direct Hunchback the first time around and thought it was a dead dream. We came back to town and we are making it a possibility again. So yep. this season in September, we are going to be directing the show. We are starting rehearsals July-ish. Auditions will be at the end of June. We cannot wait. We hope our cast members come back. We're gonna basically be starting from scratch. Yep. So we can't wait to see how it goes. My dad is gonna come help build the set. And it's just, oh, I'm so excited. Our really good friend, Melissa, is doing the musical direction again, and we yeah. just can't freaking wait. It's so gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. And we will probably take you guys along with us for the process in some capacity. Yeah. We're not sure when. Like, we, know. of course, don't want to like make that the priority of the process or, you know, harp upon yeah. people's privacy or anything like that. So no promises, but we probably want to do maybe a show vlog or something like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what I did with White Christmas maybe, but um, we are just so excited and we thought that is a huge, it's going to take over our life for the next mm -hmm. couple of months. We're so excited to do it together. I'm also choreographing the show and it's just going to be basically what we're doing every single night for the next three-ish months. Yeah. So I can't wait. Just finishing what we started like three years ago is the big thing. Um, I think we had a lot of really good momentum. I think we're on track to have a really, really good show on our hands. And I'm hoping that we can capture that lightning in a bottle again this time around because yeah. I love the show. It's such a good show. The such music's amazing. Show. Such a good show. And it's... Uh, close enough to the Disney version, but they made some really cool like improvements and changes yeah. for the stage version. So yeah, I, there are some cast members that we already know aren't going to be able to come back, yeah. which is sad because um, I was really excited to work with them. But I'm also excited for the new cast that we're going to get to work with. So. Can't wait. We are so excited and thought it warranted a video to tell you about because it's going to take over our lives for the next few months. So I think that's it. Yeah. Um, we're so excited and I just wanted to share it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like, like the video. video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.